Yeah, it's absolutely true, and I think women spend so much time agonising about their hair. But what you saw in all those pictures of me with all the different hairstyles earlier. Well, a couple of years ago, I got asked to speak to a conference of hairdressers, and I put up <laughs> all these photographs of my hair over the years. And I said to this audience of hairdressers, look, powerful, opinionated, strong woman, knows what she wants, doesn't say any rubbish from anyone. That's a fact. Show me a shop that's got the word hairdresser over it. I walk through the door, there'll be someone on the phone talking, <laughs> and I'll wait, I'll wait, and then I'll, go, I'll wait. Then I'll go and sit in a chair. Some person will eventually put a, a, a very ugly cape around me, <laughs> and then they'll say, I see it like this, and you want to say no, and then they start doing your hair, they start cutting it off, making it look unspeakable, <laughs> and you're frozen. Yeah. Do you mean, and at the you end of it, at don't... the end of it, look at those hairstyles. And at the end of it, they went, so it looks great, doesn't it? And you go, yeah. <laughs> and inside you're crying. Yeah. You're crying. Isn't that interesting? Because I don't think any of us would think that Janet would ever sit and do what she's told. But or... we can all yeah. relate to it. We've all done yeah. it before. Oh, yeah, yeah. especially yeah. when they might start blow drying it and you think, it's going to look rubbish. Yeah. You're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong. But they leave it to me, I'm the expert. And as they do it... Yeah, mm. no, and you, you walk you out and You might as well just get out a £20 note and set fire to it. <laughs> now... <laughs>